There's a small child with the flowers, she looks so pretty, you can't believe she's ours. They symbolize her innocence and beauty. What a spirited child, so light and free. Yes, sir, she looks a little like me. I'm afraid about the world, tell people might see. Look at her, let's discuss. Here's what it says she thinks of us. And her was the oneness of the being. Be the foregone evil. What it might, how could they doubt that the earthly life and future destinies were conjoined when they beheld it once the material union and the spiritual idea in whom they met and were to dwell immortally together. Pearl represents them. She links them, she's their prize gem. She made their love shake. Crazy, crazy, tragic pet. The minister has his own troubles with children. Kids, they do not love him. The pearl has a different opinion. She's kind and calm in his presence. At first, she thinks he's pleasant. You can tell this from the two instances. First with the quietness at the scaffold that made everyone pretty fast. Second with the rest of the nurse of both. Everything just seemed to seem too slow. But now here it is the thing Pearl doesn't know about her parents. She seems to try to figure out the connection she gives up. Gazes at her reflection, looks at the child staring at her in the book. That girl is happy, has a new pulse in the Finally, Hester tells her to cross from the other side of the brook where Pearl stands looking lost. Pearl cannot recognize for her mama wearing her disguise the letter is not upon her chest and held hester's at her best hester must only wear it for the next few days cause then they are barely parting ways but for now hester put it back on waiting for it to be gone it says as if there were of a woman did departed like a fading sunshine and a gray shadow seemed to fall across her she is sad for how the ledger has to find her is ready to be done with the shame she's felt from everyone she must endure the hate for only the next couple days the only good is now for record Nizes her that it is understood. She comes across the brook with delight, for she thinks she's meeting a man who must be right. She asks if he'll walk with them hand in hand. What a gesture that would be. So, old friend, he won't. Now that seems unfair. She thinks that he just doesn't care. And now she watches her parents talk. Jealousy seeps in, she eyes him like a jealous hawk. Thinks the only way to break the ice is with a kiss. He is only mad with a diss. Her washes off her head in the brook as a telltale sign of her being shook. Now this is where the chapter ends. Peace out from your scarlet.